Hello, this is a short film about preparing your data for submission to Treebase. We recommend that you prepare your data for submission using either McClade or Mesquite. The reason is that these programs help ensure that your Nexus files do not contain any syntax errors. In addition, they ensure the integrity of the various components that make up your submission. For example, Let's take a look at the parts of this Nexus file in Mesquite. We open it up and we notice that there's a taxon block here. And inside that taxon block or associated with that taxon block are two matrices, some DNA sequences, right, and some indels, which are scored in zeros and ones in this case. And there's also a set of trees. Now one nice thing about this program is that if you edit the taxon labels under the taxon tab, they will carry forth and make identical changes in all the related objects, such as these two matrices and this set of trees. And that's important because it ensures consistency among the taxon labels for all the data objects that you're submitting. We ask that you write the proper scientific name at the beginning of each taxon label using correct capitalization. This allows our taxon recognition software to map your labels against a large taxonomy. Suffix coding and any other trailing text should begin with a capital letter so that our taxon recognition software knows to ignore these instead of assuming that they are subspecies epithets. So for example here I think I'll change sect which means section and give it a capitalization and that way our software won't, won't assume that sect is actually a subspecies of this species. I can do that here as well, sect. So this is how we want you to present your taxa. And once you save the file like this, it'll carry forth through all of the objects that are connected to this taxon block. So now in the matrix file, for example, sect has been capitalized. Once you do that, you know that there is integrity to the data file that you're uploading to Treebase. Now, in most cases, your matrices and trees are in different files. That's because, in most instances, you prepare your alignment first, and then you run it through a program like PALP or Mr. Bayes to infer trees. And these trees are usually saved to a separate file. Mesquite allows you to merge these files together to form a single Nexus file. And we encourage you to do this because that will ensure that there's integrity among the taxon labels in the different files. So for example, let's take a look at this Nexus file and this tree file. I'll open it in a text editor, text wrangler. You can see that the matrix is a set of DNA sequences with 20 taxa and the tree file also has 20 taxa but is saved separately and this was saved by PALP as you can see. So how do we merge these? Well you can open this in Mesquite, open your data matrix and up here it says file incorporation and if you're just incorporating a tree, you could say include file, and, true, and then you just choose the tree file, which is here. And if there are no errors, then we've now brought in the trees. So we have the tree here, and we also have the uh, character matrix all in the same mesquite project and governed by the same set of taxon labels. And that's what we want 
you to submit to TreeBase, this combination which ensures integrity. Now, w now that you've imported the tree, it's worth noting that perhaps the phylogeny is not rooted uh, correctly, because after all, the rooting of the tree as it's exported from PALP or other programs isn't necessarily the same rooting that it really should be properly displayed in your publication and also in TreeBase. So let's take a look at uh, how to reroute it. I'm going to change the branches, make the branches proportional to length. And the reason why is that immediately I can see that these two bird uh, taxa are clearly the outgroup. And I'll use the rerouting tool here to click and reroute the tree. Now when I remove branches proportional to length, the tree is rooted correctly. Okay? And uh, but before I save the Nexus file, I need to go to the tree menu and do store tree. Otherwise, the changes made to the rooting of the tree will not be saved. Okay? So now that I've stored that tree, I can now do save, and I'll give this a new name. Miyamoto combined matrix tree. And that and this file is now ready to upload to TreeBase. Okay. Now I'll, I'll show you a common uh, Nexus file that is submitted to TreeBase. This one it's called Combo. This this I see this quite frequently, and it's a problem because there are there's ambiguity in the formatting of this Nexus file. Here, for example, we see that the format, or the data type, I should say, is called DNA. However, the symbols have been defined, and that is a ambiguous and confusing situation, because when data type is called DNA, the assumption is that IUPAC symbols are being used to express uh, the DNA sequences, and for a lot of programs, the assumption is that there are only four uh, character states. There are not this long list of possible character states. So we have to fix this. Uh, and now you may wonder, okay, why are the, all these symbols present? Well, I notice that there's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 near the end of this symbol list. And that's probably because, yes, at the end of this matrix, a set of indels has simply been appended. Uh, what we want to do is separate out the indels from the DNA and then properly state the format of the matrix in each case. So to begin with, I'll, I'll save this file as something else. I'll call it DNA. And then I'll also save it as another file, and I'll call it index. Okay? So now we have two files. Okay, this one's DNA, and this one is index. For the DNA one, we keep the, the data type as DNA, but we get rid of the definition, the symbol's definition. We don't need that. Now, when it's opened, the symbols will be, the programs will assume that the symbols follow the IUPAC standard. For the indels one, we want to change the data type to standard, and the symbols, well, I'm going to put the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., the numbers up front so that the symbols map to the first, second, third, and fourth uh, character states with respect to the indel characters at the very end of this matrix. Okay, so let's just save that. Now I can open 
the DNA data in Mesquite. So here's my DNA data. And I could rename this, for example. I'll just call it DNA. And now I want to import the indel data. But I want to use file incorporation to make sure that uh, both of these data matrices anchor off of the same set of taxa. So I'll ask to merge them. And I'll choose indels. And I'm going to say fuse with the selected taxa block, but add as a new matrix. And there we go. So now we have a Mesquite project with a DNA matrix and an indel matrix. But of course now I need to delete those characters that don't belong in either uh, character block. So for, for example here, this is the DNA matrix. I will select the set of characters that have to do with indels. So now those characters are selected at the bottom and I hit the delete key and I delete them like that. Now I do the same for the indels but the other way around. I'm going to select just the 28S characters, hit the delete key, and so now I have one data block with 772 characters and another with 202 characters. They are both formatted correctly. One appears as DNA and the other appears as standard data type. And that's what we want to upload to Treebase. Save this file with these separated data types.